Luke Stockman approaching the log. 230 kilos, world record attempt. Let's go, Luke. Come on. Come on, Luke. Let's go. Get in the log in position. Zadrinus' hand is up and ready. Let's see what he can make of the clean. He's Everything into it. Solid Excellent clean. Excellent clean. Excellent. Come on, Luke. You got this. Let's go. Press. Let's go. Oh, Come on. Press, press, it. Oh. press it. Press it. Oh. So oh. close. That was. I think for, a fra <laughs> for maybe for a fraction of a second he had that almost. He's got another attempt. He's got that 60, was so 60 seconds. Close. I can't believe that was. I can't believe how close that was. That was. That's the. Come on, Luke. This is going to be. This is. It's hard to do this a second time. Zadrinis' his hands up. Damn, he's good at cleaning that log. Come on, Luke. Solid. Ah, uh, it's, it's just. It's so hard after that first attempt. He would have given everything on that first attempt. Before we get started with this week's one, um, don't forget to check out Thor's reaction two weeks ago, the one that we did for the 501. Um, we're going to be doing these every every week until the end of June because that's there are, week, there are records taking place every week right up until the start of July I think um, so don't forget if you want to join in the discussion with all those and see everything that we do up until then don't forget to subscribe now and you'll be able to see this reaction versus all the other ones leading up to the end leave comments and everything get involved talk to us about what we what our thoughts are and stuff uh, make sure you don't miss anything that's coming hey guys how's it going so Big day today in the strongman calendar and the record breaking events that are coming up. Uh, Luke Stoltman is going for the world record log press, currently held by uh, Zadrinus, Big Z. He's going for 230 kilos. Do I think he's going to get it? It pains me to say it, but no. I love Luke, and um, we're basically best friends, as this video will show. Andrew, Josh Andrew Joshua, 95, I love you more than life itself. So yes, um, I do. I love him. He's in. He's easily in my top three. Both him and Tom. Um, I think they're in most people's kind of top five. At least one of them. Uh, I don't know. Just something about his training videos and stuff. I just. I don't think he's going to get two thirty. I want them to, with all my heart. Like I. If there's one person I want, like I thought Thor would get it, his deadlift. I didn't really care if he didn't. With Tom, I'm pretty. I'm hundred percent sure he'll get the stone. Even if he doesn't get the stone, he still has the record anyway, so I don't really mind if he doesn't get it. The rest of the records could take him or leave him. Luke is the only one that I'm like, I really want you to get this record, this log press. Um, the main reason is I don't think he'll get another chance. What I mean is, <clears throat> if he feels this 230 today, I feel like Iron Bibby, Graham Hicks, maybe even Iron Page are all either on the same level or above his pressing game. Especially Bibby and Hicks. I think Hicks is probably the best at the minute. Um, I don't know why they didn't get offered to do it with him. But um, I, I hope he gets it because I, th I feel like if he doesn't get it, then either Bibby or Hicks will break the 230. I think he will hit 230 eventually if he doesn't get it. But um, it won't be the record when he hits it. I hope I hope he does get it today. Um, he did. I know he did do 228 in training. There's just something about the training videos and stuff, and I just, I just don't know. I'm, I'm, seventy thirty that he's not gonna get it, but I hope he does get it. Um, so let's see if he does. He's not known as the Albatross for no reason. Why is it Castle Water? Look like strong, brave, true. It's water. Why does it just say wet? What? <laughs> if you don't put your kit on the right way, it doesn't work. You, like, for example, if you put your wrist wraps in your forehead, it doesn't work. They don't act to support your wrists. Uh, you, you'll probably notice if you watch him that he's not wearing his belt around his knees. <laughs> 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 
That was that didn't seem like he held it for as long. <laughs> See, Brunus is making sure he does the lift properly <laughs> because that's his job as referee. That's uh, Luke Stoltman uh, finished his log press there. Firstly, I want to say I'm super gutted for Luke. Um, sometimes with these lifts, you get one good go, 
and he nearly got it. He was literally inches away from his uh, left arm locking out and holding up there. But unfortunately, he didn't get the lockout and he sort of stumbled back a bit. Saw a heart wrench and saw a see someone put that much work into a record and getting so close but not getting it at all. I kind of probably mimicked his last time round when he was going for it. Uh, he's well better prepared this time, but he obviously didn't get it last time round either. Um, though I'm sure he's going to get it in the future, like near near future at that. Um, it was just uh, unfortunate on the day he didn't. Personally, I think the whole the weight being weighed maybe threw him off because the last one took a lot longer to sort out than the other ones did. So I think maybe that waiting around uh, probably built up a few nerves, um, gave him too much time to think. Uh, the whole weighing thing was, I don't know, I think they could have done with bigger scales maybe or a bigger platform to weigh the scales on. It just wasn't as efficient uh, like the half four deadlift the the weight's been weighed was far more efficient and seemed more accurate um even that half a kilo could have put him off um so realistically he was trying to go for 230 and a half um that extra half kilo could have been the difference at the end of the day so i don't know if he looked more into that or trying to get more accurate with the 230 but like i said uh, super unfortunate you know, putting all the hard work in and getting that close to it, it's just soul destroying actually to witness someone just get destroyed like that by not actually hitting what they expect to. Definitely has it in them. Um, you know, it's just inches away basically. If he does break the record anytime soon, is he going to hold it that long or is someone else going to come along and potentially break the record before he does? So there's a few good uh, log lifters like um, Graham Hicks and uh, Iron Bibby. Um, Iron Bibby, I feel like he has it in him, but for me, he needs to use calibrated plates when he's training and he needs to have something that looks more accurate than what he's using. I know he's trying to make the best of a bad situation. He's never really proved that the weights are as accurate as he, you know, as sort of portrayed while Graham Hicks is just a, a fantastic strong log presser uh, he definitely has 230 in him easy uh, maybe more so looks in a bit of a tough position now where is he going to race to try and get the 230 to break the record or is someone else going to have the chance before he does well soon probably soon in the future but unfortunately he just didn't get it today and I guess better luck next time next time and uh, he should hopefully get the 230 and if not hopefully more to try and really push it out of the water but like half fours uh my pen is still stands he probably should do it in competition which now means he probably will get a chance to do it in competition to break the record and it'll be properly official <sighs> sorry for not being able to get that today look but uh you'll get it soon enough okay so it's been a wee while since Luke pressed the log there. I'm absolutely devastated for him, to be honest. I had my doubts leading up to it a few weeks back, but then over the last couple of weeks, seeing what he posted and stuff, I was really excited for him, and I thought he had it in the bag for today. And I do think, well, I mean, for a fraction of a second in that video, he did have it fully pressed, you know, like locked out, but it was just too far back behind him at that point um to recover um and that's just the nature of the event really to be honest like you know you can you can be as strong as you want um overhead pressing ability and whatever um but there's so many other factors that come into it um, i really am I, when, I, when, I, when i watch back the videos now i'm still i still get butterflies and stuff watching them because it was just so close and uh, I think for all of us um, Luke is like a genuine like idol like he's like a proper role model you know I think he he conducts himself how I would like to conduct myself if I was in his position you know um, I think he's just a real idol real role model for a lot of people out there and um, I don't think he should be at all um, ashamed of what he did today um, 
he was just like to be able to do what he did there's less than a handful of people in the world who could do that but i don't think any of them would have had the ability to clean that i think i think it was four or five times Luke got that off the ground to his chest easily you know and even to get it off his chest um three times like to get that amount of weight no one nobody has ever done that before and not many people could if they even wanted to you know well, i think it was fantastic and he's still a genuine inspiration um to a lot of people in the world i think he is in a position where now where he's really starting to peak and uh, he can he can really make uh, make some some big waves in the sport over the next wee while with all my heart i hope he does um i'd love to see it but yeah absolutely good job to look today um i was definitely i was more excited about this one than i was for the the deadlift and i wanted him to get it more than uh more than thor um not because i don't like thor i just it was some uh, the stakes seemed a little bit lower for him um there's something about work i just really i was really behind him today and uh, i'm glad that he didn't get it but um i hope he goes out and smashes it later on in the year and then some don't forget to hit the like button to hit the subscribe button uh ring the way bell and if you're looking at any nice merchandise go on to spreadshirt uh see you guys in the next video